I've got some news for you all that you don't want to miss. So hang tight and let's get started with the video. So the update you all have been waiting for, Segola has released their new 4600, not the extreme version, but the new 4600 with DTF technology. They have been released. They also have the digital version, which I do not have, and I will be buying one. The It's a game changer on what these guns has done for me and my custom body shop compared to the old Segolas. Somebody would probably think there wouldn't be that much of a difference in the atomization of the liquids, but let me tell you, yes, massive difference. Massive, massive, massive. But I will put links in the video down below. Uh, there is, they are affiliate links. Uh, you don't have to buy one, but if you do, you can use the links down below. There's no additional charges whatsoever for you to use those. We do get a little bit here on the channel, which helps me <laughs> buy the paint and the fenders and everything to show you guys. So anyway, let me explain what the difference is between the new 4600 so, and the extreme. I got the 4600 La Katrina up here. This is the gun that got me into Segola. And then I got a 4600 with the Aqua base, DVR Aqua. And I have the Titania Pro, and both of these are 1.2, and this one is a 1.2 XL. Let's start with the base. Now, the DVR uh, base, or DVR Aqua rather, definitely laid down sealer very smooth for me. I struggled with it on metallics, no matter how, which way, shape, form, or fashion I went with it. I struggled real hard with metallics with the DVR Aqua, but on the 4600 with the new DVR base, game changer. Lays my metallics down. Every base, it'll even lay sealer down like, like, uh, I, I, you've seen, you've seen in the videos how smooth it lays down base compared to this to the DVR Aqua. I just struggled with the Aqua, I don't know why. I tried every which way, but the 4600 is my jam. Uh, they do have the 4600 in digitals, and I will be buying a digital 100%, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, so, but the DVR Aqua, or I'm sorry, the DVR, base on the new 4600 has changed everything with my shop, my custom shop, on the way my base coat goes down. Night and day difference. Now, let's go over to the 4600 Extreme La Katrina. Now, currently I have a 1.2 in the DVR Titanium on the 4600 Extreme, and I have a 1.2 XL on the 4600. Now, I do have the DVR Clear, or the Pro Clear, and this is just the DVR Clear. This is great for your, your OEM base, where this one is more what I use, but I used this one in a video not too long ago, so I just threw it back on there. But I had really good results with the 4600 Extreme with the DVR Titania. I did have to work it a little bit more. It was a very, very, very fast gun. Now, when I put the Clear Pro on the new 4600, it is a very fast gun, but it seemed to atomize the Clear and not put so much overspray in the air so you wouldn't like drowning yourself out so you could see things a lot better. I really wish I would have had this gun like two years ago. It has changed the way I also spray Clear and in, in a better improvement in myself. Uh, the clear is so much flatter. I don't have to do nowhere near as much work afterwards as I did with the 4600 Extreme. So the 4600 with the uh, DFT technology, 
again for my shop was a game changer. It helped me speed through these paint jobs and get a damn good finish on everything. Some of them to the point of where I did not even have to go back and do any cutting and buffing. Now, some of my jobs are cut and buff required and then some are not. Some absolutely are not a cut and buff. They don't want to pay for that. They just want a custom paint job without, you know, all of the mirror finish. But with a 4600, it has gave me the ability to just be able to give them a really high-end slick finish with very little peel compared to the 4600 Extreme where I did have a substantial, that wouldn't say substantial, I did have a lot more orange peel than I did with the new 4600 using the DVR Pro Clear. So that's that. Um, don't know if Sagola's going to release these. I haven't got an update on that part yet, but uh, they work on both both 4600 Extreme, and I believe they work on the 3300, which I have an update on the 3300 on a uh, giveaway, so you guys may want to stick around for that. But not in this video, it's gonna be in the next one. And then of course, box down, the Segola 4600, I'm sorry, the Segola RC1 regulator. That is a very, very nice regulator. As you can see, I, I use the Bravos high flow ends on everything. But I just wanna make this video to let you guys know that the new 4600s have been released. I will have links down below. So I don't know how long or how much they have in stock. That I don't know. I did talk to my rep and he said that they have more shipments coming in. I don't know quantities, but hop on over and they are affiliate links. The affiliate links don't cost you any extra. They give me literally a couple pennies, at, you know, um, one time a month to buy supplies to make videos for you guys. Paint is not cheap. Fenders are not cheap. Go out, and buy, go out and buy your sealer, your base coat, your clear coat. That stuff's not cheap. Even if you go out and buy the cheap stuff off of eBay to do a fender paint job, you're still still spend over, over 100 bucks. And I do those videos for you. So, uh, yeah. So, if you're looking for a nice 4600, I'll have links down below. I'll find out on this. If this is up there, I'll link it. I believe I've already got links in there for the RC1 regulator. That's the bomb regulator. Quick change, no tool needed. Thank you all. I wanna thank Segola again for sending these out to me for review. I have a one month review video coming up on this and we're gonna shoot more. I've got a bunch of videos in editing, it's just been so crazy. I haven't had a chance to get all the videos edited because I shoot and edit myself. So I promise I'll get there. But thank you guys for sticking around and we will see you on the next one here in a few days. Watch out for the next video. <laughs> hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. Tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm moving